Hello and welcome back to another Beard Guys World of Tanks replay. So today we're having a look at the best round from my 25 games for the What Can It Earn episode featuring the KV-5. So if you haven't checked out the What Can It Earn episode for this tank, the link is in the description. Go and have a look at that. It features some highlights from 25 games worth of battles in this tank, as well as a summary of the silver earnings and a little quick review as well. So they're, um, they're good fun videos. They've been going down really well. So go and check those out if you haven't already. What this is, is a little commentary on the best round, or the most successful silver round, I should say, from from all 25 games that I played. There you go. Uh, classic, driving in someone while looking at your map at the start of the bell. Sorry. My bad. So I thought these would be um, these replays would be interesting if you um, if the highlights are a little bit too succinct for you, a little bit too brief, then um, a bit of a lucky shot on the poor sig there. But but why not? Sometimes you don't need to have a bit of luck. Um, yeah. So if you thought just watching the kill shots and stuff didn't really um, didn't really do it for you quite enough, then you get a full full replay so you can kind of see the tank really in action and how it moves around the battlefield, how it takes a hit, how it dishes out damage. Etc. Etc. So I'm just trying to sort of work my way up to to near the bridge here. Was my thinking? I wanted to get in a get in a good position and get my armor angled and try and bounce some shots and just sit there and um, see what I can dish out. Set the bulldog on fire, which will help our team out nicely, and someone else finishes him off. And he had no chance sitting up there, really. And just keeping an eye on this guy. Not too worried about that guy coming around the corner because the armor on the back of my tank is um is only about 10 mil thinner than the armor on the front of the tank. So, and if you angle it, it's it's pretty troll. Um, there's um there's another good round I had with some excellent reverse side scraping, which is pretty effective um tactic in this tank. There we go, Panther 88. So even though the gun on this tank doesn't really have very good penetration, uh, Panther 88 is not really going to struggle against. They've got pretty pretty trashy armor. And this the center ammo isn't going to be too much of a worry. So I'm keeping myself angled here towards the Borsig and the ammo. Focusing on the Borsig as a primary target. He's got the most dangerous gun, but now he's down. So he, the Borsig managed to put a, put a shot through. He's got a, um, a pretty beefy gun, and I wasn't really too well angled towards him then, so that... Had a pretty good chance of going through, but that's fine. We've still got a thousand hit points left. This feels like one of those games where we're just kind of rolling straight over them. They've barely left the spawn, and that never really works out well. If your whole team's base camping, it's it's often a, a pretty bad sign of how things are going to go. Especially when you've got lots of your heavies up in that kind of a a a a nine a zero sort of area. It's a, uh, a an enemy KV five, which I'm probably going to struggle to pen from the side from this little range. But um, but someone else does it for me, so that's fine. So we've done nine damage in shots already, which is pretty nice for this tank, um, as well as one of those setting someone on fire. So it's already a fairly, fairly decent damage game. Pop out and shoot this guy. I believe he just fired, so we can be a little bit frivolous and drive out around the corner like a bit of a noob. Take a um a shot in the traps from the KV4. That's fine. Fired a shot that was pretty unlikely to to go in, but. I was hoping to track him there, but he backed off and it went a bit wild. And the Panther 88 fires again, and we can finish him off. And this is kind of how you have to play when you have one of these games where you've got pretty good matchmaking. You're top tier. There's quite a few tier 8s in this game, but um, if they're sitting back like this and your team seems to be up for being aggressive, then I think you just got to go for it. You need to you get stuck in overwhelm the opponents and also sometimes if you're not quick then you're you'll hardly get any chance to do any damage because your teammates would have just killed everyone by the time you get there and then you still have a shit round even if you even if you win and there goes the is3 ammo racked as the is3 so often is i've seen so many clips of is3's been ammo racked recently it's ridiculous i can't think of a tank that gets ammo racked anywhere near as much as that thing Definitely worth throwing safe storage on there. Try to track the KV4 again, but 
no luck there. So we haven't actually had to use the armor of the tank too much in this battle. It's bounced a, bounced a few shots, but um, this has more been about just sort of charging forward with a big group of people and um, overwhelming them rather than particularly relying on the, uh, the, the beefy armor of the KV-5. There we go, this is the last guy already. We're only about five minutes into the battle and straight through his turret for kill number three, damaging shot number 14. So that was a nice little round. It was also a very good round for silver per hour, for silver at time, because it was a short round with a good amount of silver, 130k, with no ops on, keep in mind. All of these What Can It Earn videos were done with no ops to give a bit of a, um, a more even sort of baseline against which to compare. So 130k, 3,500 damage, 1,800 blocked, 1,000 assisted. Pretty good round, not amazing. Um, first class mastery, not a 99%. Not a I don't think I got one over the course of the 25 games in the KV-5. And there you go, 1700 base. So pretty good amount of base. Um, I guess you probably need to be up and in the sort of 1900, 2000 range maybe to get the, the mastery 99%. I think it's pretty it's a pretty high one to get at the moment while those fairly, um, fairly common as well because it's recently been on sale. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't seen the What Can It Earn for that series, go and check it out. I'll link to it below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing some more stuff like this. My name's Ben, we're the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.